Tom, we're so pleased and honored to have you uh, here as our most recent graduate of Nipissing University. And uh, you've been a fixture in this community for so long. And uh, we are honoring you for your leadership, your community service, everything you've done for the North Bay region and beyond in your work, in your private life. And, and I want you to just tell us a few words about why this community is so important to you and why community service has, has made you who you are today? That's, that's a big question. Uh, I think it's in my DNA. My, uh, my dad played uh, a lot of part in the community, teaching uh, uh, junior hockey, and uh, my, my parents were always involved with things. Uh, even my brother with the, uh, uh, the Capital Center, uh, so I think we've always contributed or always tried to be part of the community for various things. And it uh, kind of creeps up on you. Mm -hmm. I think after you do it for a while, it uh, just becomes habitual. <laughs> so, but uh, we, uh, we enjoy the community and really like to contribute to it and see if we can help. Well, I think you've done your share and everybody else's share over the years. <laughs> but I, I, I think in your, in your years, um, you must have come across some interesting people um, and I want to ask you from all of your contacts with people throughout your entire life whether they're family, friends, business colleagues, people in the community what is the the one piece of advice that you have been given in your life that's that's resonated with you the most? Do whatever you're passionate about you know work for a company that, that values you and uh, if you're passionate about it, there will never be a dull day, uh, and, and you know, you'll enjoy life. Uh, life's too short, you know, to be doing something you don't want to do. And that's my philosophy mm -hmm. now, anyway. So here we are sitting, the two of us. I've uh, been in the university setting for my entire life, from the moment of leaving high school until today. I've been in the university sector. You've been so successful in the private sector, but you have also provided leadership to Canador College and to Nipissing University, and in that respect, uh, we've crossed paths in our service. And so I want to ask you, um, what do you think the most important aspect about post-secondary education is? Learning the resources, learning uh, how to deal with people, learning the networks, learning how to get, a, get along with people. Mm -hmm. It's probably an important thing and I think you need that uh, in order to be successful anywhere. I've never been very very <coughs> strong academically myself. Education mind you in my day was, was a lot different than it is today and uh, the, uh, I really envy the students these days because education's come so far. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, in my day they tried to kind of pigeonhole you they kind of tried to beat the creativity out of you. They wanted you to be a certain <laughs> size and shape. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not like that anymore. I think we're much more accepting of people with different backgrounds and different talents. I wish I was growing up now. <laughs> well, Tom, it's been uh, such a pleasure. And uh, I have to say that Nipissing University is so much the better for having you being an important part of its history and, and an important part of its leadership for such a long time. And thank you very much. Well, thank you. I appreciate it.